Time for our full circle where we like to take a little time to go a little deeper on a subject that's on our minds. So today, of course, Jeff Johnson, we invited him back down to the circle. Yes. We're asking the questions that women need answers to. Yep. But first, we asked you at home, our viewers and our viewer poll, can men ever be just friends with a woman? Let's take a look at the results here. Can men ever be just friends with a woman? Sure, 66% say that and no, 34% say no. What mm -hmm. if he's in a relationship? Hmm. 58% of our viewers said yes, and, oh no, not my man, 42% said that, and, okay, what if he's your husband? Oh, no, nah. I trust him, 55% say I trust him, 45% say no. Who that woman? Who is that woman? <laughs> right, there you go. I need my little glass, I'm, I'm got, I got readers now, and I couldn't see that, but it's all good. Awesome, so, what say you, sir? I, I think it depends. I mean, to, to, first of all, are you mature? Mm -hmm. If you're not mature, you can't be friends with anybody. So, because the problem for me is I know a lot of men that can't be friends with women single. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Like, because they don't like women. They just want them. Mm -hmm. So Wait, 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 wait. But there's something in there. Come on now. No, can no you, because, can because if, if you have never been taught to value a woman, beyond what she can do for you. Ooh. How can you be friends? Come like, on, how can man. I care about you? What you need, what you want, what the Come call on, of your life is. Come on, stop breaking these men down here that's teaching no, the so, truth, right? So, for real, so, so I think that's the problem. So the problem is we, we as men have, and, and women, have not been taught to be friends, period. Come on. So now. when you're in a relationship, you really ain't being friends. Because either you just waiting in the wings, or he waiting, Till you get tired, old boy, <laughs> and that's not a friendship. You better yeah. tell. So, but if you're mature it. and you value, if I, I, I have women in my life that I wouldn't be able to get where I am without them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But my wife likes them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's some rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, if wifey clears you, then we can be friends. Come on exactly. now. If exactly. wifey clears you, yes. so you've given her that power without a fight. Well, I. Subjected myself. Come on now, I okay. Like to like uh, a relationship that says I got to be accountable yes. at Ooh. some level. Yes. But no, I think it's possible. I'm with you, brother man. Oh, my God. oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, yes, man. And John Gray, that y'all just bringing these men down here, and they're telling the truth. They yes. are, and uh, I just love it. Yes. And, uh, yes. Shouts out to the EP and all of the people who booked the good talent. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> just just giving us all the good knowledge. But right. I do want to move on. So, so please tell us, Jeff, what are some things that men find sexy or attractive about a woman that a woman that women will probably be surprised about? Oh, that's good. Confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you can have on dirty drawers and oh, old clothes and sleep in your eyes. Mm -hmm. But if you confident and you get up saying, I am that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's sexier than anything else. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then, then there's just some stuff, some guys just nasty. So, I mean, <laughs> some stuff is sexy to them that's not sexy to anybody. Mm -hmm. And right. that, that you got, that's what you got to find. Mm -hmm. right. You got to mm -hmm. find... How can I get with somebody where my just worst thing is sexy to them? Right. right. And 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 some stuff you can talk about on daytime TV. Mm -hmm. Some stuff you can't. Right. And, right. You know. But but I think it's confidence. I think it is. Are you walking in what you do? Because mm. um, that's another thing. I, I see so many women chasing men. Ooh. And in many cases, reducing who they are. Right. When if he's gonna, he gonna go get with you, it's gonna be because of who you are. Right. Mm. Unless he just want to hit. Well, so, well yeah. you know what's funny? Th that word chase keeps coming back around. Because mm -hmm. uh, Pastor John Gray was here, and he talked about the men, the man should chase the woman mm -hmm. because she has, she's the favor. favor. The she's favor. Yes. The favor. Mm -hmm. And then you said for women to stop. Chasing men, right? It's something in the word. Something chase, in that chase. Something in that chase. Something something in that chase. chase. <laughs> you can identify. Yeah. Yes. yes. You look can, at you. You can vet. You said yes. look. Yeah. You look can at assess. You. Look at uh -huh. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go into an actual. Let's go into the marriage. Right. Okay. Let's say you've been married to this woman, and um, over over the years, and and what has attracted you was her confidence and all of that, and then let's just say things happen inside of the marriage where she may not feel confident, or she may have been knocked down in in certain instances, or maybe she gained weight after the baby, or whatever, whatever, ha what have you, and her confidence is low. Mm -hmm. What 
is the role of the husband in order to regain that confidence? Mm. Is it is it just up to her to find it again? Or since you have become one, are you now responsible as well for helping her get back to where she was? No, but, but in a relationship, we're responsible for feeding each other. Yes. Mm. And yeah. so, I so it, it, it's, it's not, I, I'm hoping my wife feeds me as much as I feed her. Yes. And I hope my friends feed me as much as I feed them. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't think it's about, is it my responsibility to give her her confidence? No. Not give a it, no, no, no. Right. It's, it's my responsibility to feed life into her. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and to support whatever it is she's doing. So mm -hmm. sometimes we, we grow and we've never had conversations about growth. Mm. And so a lot of times you're trying to feed somebody a diet from three years ago right. mm. versus the diet for the next five. Mm. And, and so it becomes a problem. And so I, I think we have to have better communication mm. to know where are you now mm -hmm. versus when we just got married. Because I think right. that's what happens a lot of times. Mm -hmm. the, the, the relationship gets stale because we keep believing we the same people we were when we got married. And, not, and, and wow. we're not. Hopefully you're not. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. Absolutely. Not. Growth. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, all right. Now to get my marriage question. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm getting my free counseling. <laughs> yeah, and another thing. And another thing. <laughs> well, Jeff, we are so appreciative uh, for you coming down here, and uh, hopefully we give you the same type of love that you receive in the man cave. Well, no, yes. the brothers send their regards. They do. Uh, Thank yes. you. Yes. Cosine and Tank especially, and I won't say what Slink said because <laughs> it's not appropriate. Oh, um, okay, then. Well, but, maybe we can come down and say hello to, to them personally. The Absolutely. Cave. You all are all welcome to the man cave, and we're not on air. Oh! <laughs> Shame! Shame! But I love it. I want to give a shout out to your business partner, Adrian Alexander. Oh, absolutely. That's my Neo. I love her very much, and I'm so glad you guys are working together. So uh, am I. Yes, yes. Oh, Jeff Johnson, everybody. Can we give yeah. it a warm round? Yes. Please make sure you send us your thoughts on what Jeff said or what we said to yes. all of our social media networks, all of our platforms.